What does it mean to live a soft life? It can mean different things to different people. To some, living a softer life means rejecting hustle culture, working less, and living a life without struggle and stress. For others, it might mean living a life of comfort and luxury. For me, it's actually not really about scaling back on my hustles or career, but rather about prioritizing my joy first, which for me means leaning into the aspects of my job and life that I genuinely love. At its core, living a softer life means practicing balance, self-awareness, intentionality, and joy. I think fall is the perfect time to slow down and change up our routines. The weather is getting cooler, maybe there's a crisp in the air, the leaves are changing, and it's the perfect time for us to reflect and make any changes too. August and September were a little crazy for me, you guys, between trips to Washington and Mexico, then getting a puppy. Let's just say it's been a little bit chaotic. With the start of October, this feels like the perfect time to reconnect with habits that help ground me and help me live a softer life. I hope this video motivates you to reconnect with your own routines and habits, think about the things that help you feel balance and joy, and use these last 90 days of the year to really focus on prioritizing you. In today's video, I wanted to share 10 habits that I'm working on forming this fall to help live a healthier, happier, and softer life. <sighs> Good morning, you guys. We're pretty much in fall now. I wanted to make a video talking about like habits that I'm trying to embrace and take on to live a softer lifestyle this fall. I really want to slow down, embrace the small moments, take time for me. And because of that, I'm trying to kind of pick up some new habits. So I already showed you guys a few of the habits that I'm, you know, trying to take on in fall in this new season. Getting morning sunshine. If you guys have seen some of my other videos, Chris and I have been loving going on these little like morning walks and stuff and getting our morning sunshine that way but having a teeny tiny puppy can't actually do that right now so he wakes up at like 6 a.m right now i'm just sitting outside in the yard with him and trying to have some peaceful quiet moments you know by myself enjoying morning sunshine i've also really been trying to spend more time doing some like journaling and reflecting if you guys have seen a lot of my like monthly reset videos then you know that this has been a really important one and something that i've been kind of neglecting lately so i really want to be more conscientious about taking time to journal sit down reflect and especially when i'm feeling like extra anxious which i have been lately <laughs> i think due to a little lack of sleep just sitting down journaling writing it all out is a really good way for me to like clear my mind and let go of like stressors and anxieties. I also really want to get back into stretching. I was doing this a lot in the spring and I don't know why. I think just with the sun coming up earlier and the days starting sooner, I was favoring more like going on walks in the morning. And since it's not as light out in the mornings anymore, I really want to get back into just like spending some time stretching my body. It's so good for us and I've been so bad at doing it. So I really want to get back into stretching and then keeping my space tidy. This is one I've talked about so many times. It's so important to my mental health. Having a clean and tidy space really just makes me feel more like I can actually get things done. I don't know why, it's just always been super important to me. So making sure that I'm prioritizing like putting laundry away, making the bed, changing the sheets, keeping the kitchen clean and not letting the chaos of life take away from that. And then obviously the last thing I showed you guys was breakfast. And with this one, as you guys know, I had been working through a cut over these last couple of months leading into September. And I obviously was being really strict with like my food intake, what I was eating and all of that. But I really wanna focus now on just foods that make me feel good if it's something that I want to eat and it makes me feel good I'm gonna eat it and not be super like restrictive with my food intake so those are the five habits I've showed you guys so far this morning I really need to get to work especially because the puppy is napping when the puppy naps that is my productive time and he went to sleep about 20 minutes ago which means I probably only have like 40 45 minutes of work time I'm gonna get a little bit of work done and then we'll check in with you guys on the next few habits that I'm trying to embrace to live a softer life and be more present for fall I just spent the last couple of hours editing on and off and in the off time was playing with Loki because I know it's not the same as having a baby but having a tiny puppy is in some ways kind of like having a baby it's like I can only get work done when he's napping and when he's not napping he demands all of my attention <laughs> so in some ways like that it kind of is like having a baby but they grow up a lot faster obviously and learn and become more independent a lot faster than babies but anyways yeah so spent a lot of time playing with him and then when he finally 
finally fell asleep i was able to get some editing done but i just wanted to share habit number six and this is actually something randomly that i saw on tiktok a random video popped up onto my tiktok feed and the girl was talking about like how she is trying to live a softer life and one of the things that she talked about doing in order to live a softer life feel less stressed less chaotic and all of that is only saying yes to plans social plans that are things that she like really really wants to do and slash or like fit super easily into her schedule already not trying to move around 100 things in order to like work with somebody else's schedule somebody else's plans or again like things that you just like really really do want to do so anyways that just really stuck with me and it's something that i really want to start implementing as people ask me to hang out or do social plans like i feel like i'm the type of person that feels like i have to say yes to everything especially living in a new city and trying to meet new people and all of that but if it doesn't easily fit into my schedule or if it's not something that i really 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 want to do then i want to like work on empowering myself to say no sometimes and say no to things that just don't sound that fun to me i think that that will help me feel less stressed less chaotic and give me more time to actually do the things that i really want to do so that is habit number six that i'm trying to take on embrace and practice more of as i'm trying to practice living more of a softer lifestyle so but yeah so that is habit number six and i need to make lunch i'm really hungry and need to finish editing all right you guys just ate lunch spent some time playing with loki who really was just attacking me the whole time i was playing with him and made myself a little cold brew with some pumpkin creamer and i just wanted to talk about habit number seven that i'm working on implementing which is basically to like embrace the small moments i think you know life can be really fast paced and in order to live a slower softer more peaceful lifestyle sometimes that means really really focusing on the small moments especially because i think like as i'm getting older these moments are just so fleeting and they pass you by so quickly so especially like having a puppy like he is gonna be so little for so, such a short amount of time and puppies just grow so fast and i really just want to like even though it's hard sometimes when he's attacking me just like enjoy enjoy those moments so i'm just thinking you know fully savoring my little pumpkin pumpkin spice cold brew coffee or looking at the leaves changing i do have a couple leaves changing unless i'm sitting over here it's not really fall yet in vegas but some of the leaves are starting to change i know in other parts of the country leaves are really really changing now and that's something that you can really just like soak in and embrace so yeah my next habit that i'm trying to work on to live a softer lifestyle is embracing the small moments even if it is routine making my little afternoon coffee but making it a little special with a little pumpkin or hanging out with my puppy or my doodle <laughs> and really just like soaking in and savoring all of those little moments in life that being said, I think I'm gonna take a rest day from the gym and that's gonna lead me probably to my next habit that I'll share with you guys in a little bit. But I am just kind of tired right now. It's been obviously exhausting having a puppy and um, all of that energy and him getting up in the middle of the night. So I think I'm just gonna like finish editing Monday's video and <laughs> relax on the couch for a little bit. I've just been sitting on the couch with my spawn of Satan slash angel child for the last couple hours doing some editing, relaxing, resting, and just trying to just do what I need to do, basically. Um, but the next kind of healthy habit that I really want to start incorporating and thinking about is only doing like exercises and workouts that truly make my body feel good. So I don't know if you guys know this, but doing like HIIT style workouts will actually kind of stress out your body. It can increase your cortisol, which actually then makes it harder to lose weight. It can slow down your metabolism, just stuff like that, where it like physically actually stresses out your body. And same thing for like other types of exercise that are really, really like high intensity, high impact, hard on your body. I really like lifting weights. I like doing running, but I like sometimes I just don't want to go to the gym and I want to do like a different style of workout and so i want to be a lot better about like listening to my body doing the style of workouts that just feel good for me that feel like something that i want to do and sometimes that might be like going for a walk outside i really do want to start getting more into pilates and yoga it's just really good for your mental health physical health for your body your stamina your strength your flexibility all of those things so i really want to get into both of those as well but yeah so the next kind of healthy habit that i'm really going to try and embrace this fall to live a softer lifestyle is doing workouts that 
I want to do that feel good for my body. I am taking a rest day from the gym today. I was supposed to do a workout, but you know what? I am exhausted from puppy parenting for the last six days. So I am just gonna go for a quick little walk outside. It's almost evening time. It's like 4.30, almost five o'clock. And that's gonna be my movement for the day. Unfortunately, like it's not as much as I would like, but it's what I'm able to do. It's what sounds good, sounds fun, sounds not exhausting. And yeah, just gonna kind of be focusing on exercise and movements and workouts that like make my body feel good, make my mind feel good. All right, you guys, we gotta wrap this video up. I am so freaking tired. If you're thinking about getting a puppy, of course they are freaking adorable. I love our puppy so much, but he, ooh, he is a menace. I was just FaceTiming my friend Lexi talking about them. She had a puppy when we were living together many years ago, and I was like reflecting back on her experience with her puppy as well. And she was like, I feel like every puppy just has one thing. Like my first dog, Doodle, her thing was destruction. She destroyed everything. Apparently Loki's thing is biting. I have so many bites on my body, you guys. Like this one, and it's just him like trying to play, but he's just like doesn't know how to be gentle yet. So I'm just like very tired and um, I need to wrap up this video so I can go relax. But the ninth habit that I'm really trying to do starting now is a weekly like face mask self-care evening. I've talked about this face mask before. I bought it on Amazon. I think it's like $15 and it's just like a powder. You just mix water with it and then put it on your face. And this has lasted me literally years. So it's a really good one. I really like this face mask and it really exfoliates my skin. But my friend Shelby here in Vegas she has talked about with me how she does. Thursday nights are her kind of self-care night where she does all of the things of like hair mask, face mask, maybe touching up her nails or whatever else, you know, she needs to do shaving, all those things. And I want to be better about having like one night per week where I just do like my face mask and whatever else I want to do for, I don't know, my self-care, maybe a bubble bath or something like that. I'm trying to hold myself accountable to that and have one night per week of just like pure self-care. So tonight we're going to do that and I'm starting off with a face mask. It shows I forgot to take my makeup off first. I am sleep deprived, you guys. All right, here we go. Beautiful. So that is habit number nine, doing a weekly self-care something. Doesn't have to be super time consuming, like putting this face mask on. It literally takes me like 15 minutes altogether. So it doesn't have to be super, something super like long and drawn out, but just something that makes me feel like I am practicing self-care and putting myself first. Since I'm just sitting here chatting with you, the last habit that I really wanna focus on for living a selfer life is basically like prioritizing rest and relaxation. And I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening kind of relaxing on the couch with Chris. We're going to do a little movie night together and almost like sort of a little date night that we've been needing for a little while. But I just think that prioritizing rest, sometimes when you are like hustling, hustle culture, grinding, you can forget to rest and rest is so important to recovery, preventing disease, longevity of life, heart health, brain health, like all of it. Thinking clearly, like I feel like, like I was just saying, I'm sleep deprived right now and I'm just like not thinking clearly. So I just want to take some time tonight to relax and recharge and rest. And I want to definitely make that part of my kind of weekly routine, making sure that I am winding down this fall. So, so yeah, those are my 10 healthy habits that I'm pursuing for fall to live a softer lifestyle. And I'm going to wash this off before I finish this video. You guys, there's just something about that clay face mask. It makes my skin so freaking soft. And then I always finish off with a little moisturizer. By the way, I use the CeraVe night cream moisturizer for, for bed. It's like super, super hydrating and I love it. Well, you guys, like I said, I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening relaxing on the couch with Chris and the pups and resting and trying not to think too much. Probably just watch a movie and order some takeout. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to hear if there's any habits that you're trying to implement for fall or I don't know, things that you'd like to do to live a softer life. Like I said, I'm trying to do my best to stress less and have more fun. So always looking for tips on that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. That's it. You have a wonderful rest of your day and I will catch up with you guys next time. Bye.